welcome back. So, if you remember the last week's uh, discussion, we are trying to continue it and if you uh, see, we are basically, basically discussing a retro which was uh, again you can see in the slide and we said the compound which will be trying to do a retro having a alpha beta gamma delta unsaturated carbonyl compound is basically aldehyde functionality. We said couple of important name reactions, okay. we said Johnson orthoester Claisen rearrangement, we said Lucci reduction. So, what are those? So, eventually let us first start with the starting material. The starting material which was given to you is basically 3 methyl cyclohexenone. Now, the 3 methyl cyclohexenone if you want to do a reduction, you want to do a conversion something like this, which is basically required for your next synthetic step for Johnson orthoester rearrangement. Okay. Now, uh, for this carbonyl reduction, if you use strong hydride reducing agent like lithium aluminum hydride, you have a difficult scenario. You might have a 1 2 reduction as well as 1 4 reduction. So, both the product you will be getting and you do not want to do this. Even sometimes sodium borohydride which is supposed to be a milder re reagent that also does the same thing. So, in this case we are using a particular reagent condition which is named as cerium chloride and sodium borohydride. It is called the Lucci reduction condition and this Lucci reduction condition will give you extensively 1 2 reduction in alpha beta unsaturated compounds. It is a very mild and chemo selective reduction. So, once this Lucci reduction was done you can uh, next follow that we need to do a Johnson Claisen rearrangement, Johnson Claisen rearrangement which was given us. Now, what is Johnson Claisen rearrangement? We will now next try to focus on Johnson Claisen rearrangement. It is a very important transformation Johnson Claisen rearrangement is basically a 3 3 sigma tropic rearrangement. Okay. Now, what do you need? You basically need a allylic alcohol as a starting material and you need to take this triethyl ortho acetate sorry this will be OET OET OET. So, MEC OET OET OET. So, initially you mix those two compounds in presence of a acid acid catalyst you need acid <coughs> actually you will be getting a intermediate whose structure is this and this structure you can basically figure it out how it has been generated. The very initially there will be a trans acid esterification kind of reaction. So, where one of the ethyl group will be replaced by this allyl group. Okay. So, you can pick it up this ethanol as a byproduct and put this O allyl here. Okay. The next step you are subjecting this compound with high amount of heat and H plus then one of the ethyl OET and from this methyl one hydrogen will undergo 1 to elimination to another round of ethanol element. So, two equivalent of ethanol will be eliminated by this reaction and you will be getting this part is coming from this allyl part double bond CH 2 O CH 2 O. Okay. Then one of the OET remains here and this things coming from this methyl. Okay. Now, it is very nice and interesting reaction this probably all of you know subjected to heat a 3 3 sigma tropic rearrangement takes place. This all of us probably know and then what you will get you basically get a compound like this which is alpha beta gamma delta. So, the general retro for this kind of compound whenever you having a alpha beta gamma delta unsaturated compound these things you can straight forward do a retro based on Johnson orthoester rearrangement Johnson orthoester cousin rearrangement uh, that is the basic transformation which you are looking for basic transformation, but this information you need to have it. 
So, it is a alpha, alpha means alpha to carbonyl, alpha to carbonyl, then alpha beta is a gamma delta. So, basically it is a gamma delta unsaturated carbonyl compounds and eventually this is a very important transformations we will be trying to uh, trying to figure it out this transformation throughout our uh, courses and we will find that this is a very important very interesting uh, reaction fine. So, coming to uh, another quiz another quiz is a, again a based on a uh, very simple transformations and let us see how it was designed. The starting material was a simple starting material is basically having a cyclopentene framework you see cyclopentene framework you are having a methyl here you are having a CO2 Me here. So, it gives a all substituted carbon substituted things at the one left half left hand you are having a alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde. So, this is pretty small molecule the retro was very much simplified retro first retro was a intramolecular aldol type of reaction. So, how you basically cut this bond you cut this bond as I say this is a, your retrosynthetic bond disconnection and what you will do you basically remaining part you keep similar and let us see. So, this is your initial retro which will be something like this. So, you have a dialdehyde and this dialdehyde we assume that one of this aldehyde will abstract the alpha hydrogen and will attack to the another aldehyde. Now, there is there must be regio chemical issue definitely, but probably I said that uh, this aldehyde having in between 2 CH 2 group or 2 methylene group where this aldehyde is having 1 methylene group. So, this groups are basically very close to this aldehyde, but this aldehyde having little bit far away from this group. So, this group does not exhibit or does not exert a steric crowding here. So, hydrogen from this aldehyde alpha hydrogen can easily be abstracted compared to this aldehyde that was the initial thought. So, fine now you put a do a intramolecular aldol reaction which is very straightforward transformation. Uh, now, this starting material how can you make the starting material? The starting material as it is a dialdehyde you can straightforward go to a some compounds like this. Now, what is this reaction? It is a basically a oxidative cleavage or you can say a ozonolysis. So, it is a oxidative cleavage, oxidative cleavage. Now, this kind of reactions you are, are basically very much fundamentally useful and you will find in many cases if you have a cyclic compounds you want to cleave this kind of compounds to corresponding dialdehyde and what are the reagent of choice what kind of reagents you want to use it. The best reagent is ozone you can do a ozonolysis there are other reagents the transformations first you do a dihydroxylation then you do a sodium pyridate which is named as Johnson Lemux Johnson Lemux reaction the spelling you have to check it Johnson Lemux reaction C you can do a MCPBA mediated epoxidation followed by water treatment that will give the diol then you do the same thing Johnson Lemux. The other reactions you can first make the diol by making this reagent and then you treat with lead tetraacetate which is also cleave the corresponding diol to aldehyde. So, these four conditions basically you can use for diol cleavage and that serves a very nice interesting pathway or it is called oxidative cleavage uh, to give you. Okay. So, now you are here okay. now what will be the next retro for the retro we have already shown in in the slide the next retro is basically simplifying it by a 4 plus 2 delete cellular cycloaddition or delete cellular transformation.
So, this is your diene and this is your dienophile methyl methacrylate and basically if you can do a 4 pi plus 2 pi cycloaddition reaction you can get the corresponding product which is one of the intermediate do a oxidative cleavage by ozonolysis or any of these four method which has just discussed. Then you can do a intramolecular aldol reaction this is the transformation which is intra intra aldol intramolecular aldol reaction. So, this was the main key reaction or key synthetic transformation which we will we'll be using to access this molecule and probably if it is not very difficult you have to see the molecule first and then you can eventually uh, try to design the pathway which will be suitable for you. The next one is absolutely tricky, next one is absolutely tricky. I said you have to make this kind of bicyclic compound ok, sorry this structure is wrong. So, I said the you have to make a bicyclic compound which was drawn in the slide without using the Robinson annulation. Now, remember last week we talked about Robinson annulation which is basically a combination of Michael and aldol reaction. We talked about Robinson annulation ok, Robinson annulation, annulation means the ring formation reaction and we said Robinson annulation is nothing it is a combination of Michael and aldol reaction ok. Now, here we have given a prerequisite the prerequisite is you cannot use Robinson annulation I said without using Robinson annulation the starting material which was given to you similar kind of starting material which was used in the Robinson annulation that is absolutely tricky. So, you have to devise a other pathway uh, which is uh, not exactly similar as Robinson annulation pathway demands ok. Now, ok let us uh, try to uh, analyze this pathway the initial retro was basically shown into the power point. So, I say if you have this target molecule you device a pathway which looks this. Now, how you can this is basically the final pathway in Robinson annulation what do you say ok. Robinson annulation we do Michael and aldol ok that is the combination we said if you have this kind of carbonyl compounds you can basically do a aldol reaction that is fine that is the final pathway in the Robinson annulation. The next one next one you see is a absolutely tricky pathway we devise if you have a intermediate something like this something like this and we do a retroaldol kind of transformation. Now, what is what are what is the retroaldol reaction? It is the reverse of a aldol reaction, it is the reverse of a aldol reaction. Similar like a retrosynthesis is the reverse of a synthetic steps, is the reverse of aldol reaction, ok, reverse of aldol reaction. Now, see how this retroaldol takes place. This is a 5 member ring, this is a 4 member ring, and we generally know that 4 member rings are strained. So, what happens if you subject this molecule to a base it will try to open it up and will give a negative charge here because it is linked to a COME group which is electron withdrawing which can stabilizing. So, then if you have a retroaldol kind of transformation that will basically give you C double bond to here CH2 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 this is the CH2 where it is going to be originated after the cleavage. So, in principle the cleavage is like this, this is a 4 member ring 1, 2, 3, 4 ok, so, this is the cleavage. Now, later on we will be seeing that this kind of strain intermediate or strain uh, ring containing compounds are named as overbred intermediate, 
we will be discussing it in detail in the subsequent section we said the intermediate which are strained are named as overbed intermediate and they have a very significant application in the field of organic synthesis as well as electrosynthesis fine so now whenever you have a choice to make a four member ring uh, my suggestion is straightforward go to a 2 plus 2 photochemical reaction that is probably the one of the best reaction available in the literature or available to, to the synthetic organic chemistry community. So, now you can easily find it out what is the 2 plus 2 retro. So, 2 plus 2 basically you will be requiring this vinylic alcohol and you require a methyl vinyl ketone fine. Where from you get this compound? This is nothing, this is the enol form of the corresponding ketone. Now, you see the starting material which was required in the Robinson pathway is also similar. So, if I have to do a Robinson pathway, which I says you cannot use it in this case, the pathway for Robinson also similar, I mean the starting material is exactly similar. methyl vinyl ketone. So, initial Robinson pathway is basically this is undergoing a Michael thing and then you have a aldol if you rotate this molecule, but here the starting material is similar, but instead of initial Michael reaction initial Michael we did not do initial Michael we replaced it with a 2 plus 2 photocycle addition provided that the ketone is analyzable. So, make sure the ketone is analyzable. So, you can make the ketoenol tautomatism analyzation and then this static material this vinylic alcohol react in 2 plus 2 fashion. Okay. Now, even eventually this reaction this reaction is now named as or it is known as DMAO reaction it is named as DMAO reaction. What is DMAO reaction? DMAO reaction is basically combination of 2 plus 2 to photocyclo addition photochemical addition addition I say and a retro aldol reaction retro aldol reaction. So, DMAO reaction is basically a combination of a 2 plus 2 H new addition for photocyclo addition and retro aldol addition and DMAO reaction is very significantly useful reaction significantly important reaction you will find in the uh, couple of uh, uh, next slides uh, when you talk about uh, more transformation based approaches and find that demo reaction is absolutely uh, brilliant to work with. So, okay, next uh, what we will talk about these things. So, uh, this part is basically uh, our quiz part ends here and finally, I will give you a list of uh, resources available in online. Uh, probably the best resources you can try is this one this scenearchive.com this scenearchive.com is a fantastic reaction is a fantastic uh, website which basically gives you a you can try to search it from your uh, from your uh, things now just have a look the scenearchive the scenearchive.com basically gives you a complete uh, idea you can uh, get the different name reaction you can get different name reaction just click it just click the different name reaction you will get a all all name reaction which are basically potentially good transformation. So, all the transformation have been just now we say DMAO reaction ok this is DMAO reaction. So, click it click to the DMAO reaction and then you will find that DMAO reaction just now the similar kind of example we taught is a DMAO reaction is a ketoenol tautomerism then you have a 2 plus 2 cyclo addition followed by retro aldol cleavage. So, this scene archive will give you essentially a huge resources for you it is free it is web based service and you can access from your smartphone if you have a internet connection you can do it. And probably throughout uh, this uh, lecture we will uh, try to go through many of this transformation which you will find useful. Okay, now, coming to other component of these uh, things, there are many other things which is basically available here. 
let us say you are having several synthesis organ organic synthesis available like synthesis by molecule there are many natural products of target molecules have been listed here a series of target molecules you can basically scroll them down alphabetically like see different molecules which have been listed here and many of the molecules uh, if you just click them uh, they open up and you can just go through it how the synthesis has been reported in the literature by the scientists great scientist as we uh, uh, name them many of the scientists in the last class you find quite interesting molecules probably some of the molecules we will cover in this series as a potential target molecules and how those uh, molecules can be synthesized you can have a uh, initial hand on idea or you can just view it over this uh, website you can uh, design the pathway in your independent thinking and definitely the, re the reactions if some reactions are not familiar with you you can also you can access the reaction uh, throughout this portal so this is one good uh, good resources which is available to you sometimes uh, this also helps is called organic chemistry or organic reactions this this portal is a good things which basically give you a series of uh, organic name reaction series of organic name reaction and then similar kind of thing starting from alphabetically you can basically access a series of name reaction and uh, let us say we talked about Barch reduction at the Barch reduction you can just click it out ok. Then you see this Barch reduction is very interesting and uh, whatever mechanism I have shown it here uh, you can get the instant access I said if you have electron releasing group like any soul you can basically think about the rigid chemistry. If I said electron withdrawing group like benzoic acid, you basically get this kind of compound. So, this can this this portal also is a very useful portal and that gives you a idea that uh, what are the name reactions are available in the literature and uh, what you might not know actually. And then you can just uh, click them out and you find those the name reactions even this this slides uh, th this particular website gives you a lots of name reactions and then you can just go through it obviously our uh, in our subsequent uh, subsequent discussion we will try to cover some of the name reactions but but definitely due to time constraint due to space constraint we may not cover everything so if those resources are available to you you can easily access them and those are absolutely free those are free and uh, so these two are basically the main resources we'll be talking about. There are many research journals available here, but I won't recommend these journals to you at this moment because these are made for the specific researchers. So you, you no need to access these journals currently. So you can basically access these two websites, and these websites will give you a, a very good idea that uh, that what uh, you can think about based on a synthesis. Particularly, syn archive. Syn archive. Uh, all the molecules, a retrosynthetic pathway has been given, and if you click for this, this let's click the syn archive again, and then you browse synthesis by molecule. So means that we will now target any molecule. Let's say molecule. Okay, I'll click this molecule. Now see this molecule. They said that this molecule having uh, this structure, there are this molecule was reported in uh, 1984. The uh, investigator is Leo Pacoviti, is a great great organic chemist, and see the entire forward pathway was given to you. So, if you want to get experience in the forward pathway, and then you can think backward. You will first see the forward pathway. And then you can devise independently a pathway that okay, this route is known. Okay, so by okay somehow can it be thought in a different way, and that will give you a independent thinking that whether a new pathway altogether a new pathway can be designed. But definitely that must be validated experimentally. As I said, organic synthesis is a uh, purely experimental science, so you might have a 10, 10 designed pathways in a piece of paper, 
but until and unless all the pathways are validated those pieces of paper are basically useless. So, out of 10 might be one pathway can be validated in this uh, 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 lab setting. So, this this is the information you can basically uh, work in out I mean you can work it out and this information will be really helpful and uh, obviously, you can uh, you can contact me through this NPT platform regarding any clarification. So, uh, okay, we will see you in the next week. So, till till today what we have discussed just go through it and uh, if you have any clarification we can clarify your doubts in subsequent section. So, have a good time.